Lockport in the western section wasn't the only place where the canal had to climb steep hills. We are in the eastern section now between Schenectady and Albany in the modern Barge Canal. New York State Canal Corporation's John Callahan is from here, so we'll ask him to explain. Well, the Waterford Flight uh, was built to uh, get around the Cohoes Falls. Uh, they constitute a lift of 170 feet, a mile and a half. That's the uh, largest lift and the shortest distance of any uh, system of uh, locks anywhere in the world. It's uh, just with our, those five locks, uh, it's twice the total lift of the entire Panama Canal. And uh, the original canal used 16 locks to get it across the same natural obstruction which the Cohoes Falls. When the canal opened in 1825, passengers were shuttled the 18 miles between Albany and Schenectady by stagecoach, rather than being asked to endure delays at those 16 locks that John mentioned. In 1826, the Mohawk and Hudson Railroad was chartered, and when it began operations between the two cities in 1831, it became the first steam-powered railroad in all of New York State. 